Hey, hey, how you ladies doing today? We good. Can I get your name? My name is Leah. Okay. F. Travis. Okay, where you guys from? I'm from Blackwood. Blackwood, New Jersey? All right. Echo, New Jersey. Echo, New Jersey? Okay, yo, Jersey girls, Jersey girls. All the way. All right. How old are you? How are you guys? I'm 31. Okay. 38. What's your relations? We're well, best friends. Best friends? More like sisters. Best friends. How did y'all meet? Um, I used to date her brother. Mm hmm. When I was in high school. Okay. Rest in peace. He's in a better place now. God bless his soul. Thank you. So I've always been around my family. Okay. So she been, my oldest daughter is 23, so she's been around the family for 21 years. 21 years? Yep. We mm -hmm. fight like cats and dogs like we young. Yeah, it's crazy. Good. You guys Just, together all the time? Most of the time. Even if we're not, when we do see each other, it's like we never, we never, you know, we was there. Right. Like, like, for example, I've been going through things for the last three days. Mm -hmm. Got locked up for a war and stuff like that I had, but I was, I was like, where's my sister? Where's my sister at? Because she had to go back to where she had to do, where it's better for her kids, herself and her kids. Mm -hmm. So long story short, I was, I was looking, I was like, damn, my fucking sister, I know you're going to walk. Mm -hmm. And I, I started crying because I'm like, don't do that. Bring you guys out to Camden. Y'all from? Y'all live in Camden currently, or? No. Uh, you know, I started at a young age. I started using drugs. Drugs. Same year. Same year. Yep. Um, right now, I'm trying to get my shit together and get my okay. kids out. It's crazy how God works. He works mysterious ways. Right. I was praying or I'm trying to get off of drugs. Right. I got locked up in this stupid way, but. We both doing the same shit right now. Like she's clean, I'm clean. So like when we always talk about doing better things, cause Joe ain't where it's at. And we got kids. Drugs ain't where it's at. And I wanted to have memories with her. Like remember we did this. I want to get in the car and do some fun. I did tennis shit. Bitch, come on, let's go to Delaware and go to a restaurant, go do some fun shit. You know what I'm saying? Stuff, yeah. Like just the world is fucked up. And to have one person that really loves you, mm -hmm. it's just awesome. At least you guys got each other. Right. You know, we interview people that don't have nobody. Right. They um, out there alone, um, you know? Mm -hmm. At least you guys got each other. Y'all going through hardship together. Yeah. You know? That's real, man. That's real. That's shit. real. Yeah, like, um, real. for instance, one time she was fighting. Mm hmm. I didn't even know where she was at or nothing. Right. Something in my spirit just was like, yo, walk that way. Yeah. I kept walking. And sure enough, she was fighting somebody. Mm hmm. That's how strong like God, God just told me to just walk away with it. Something ain't right, yeah. basically. That's deep. Can I ask what you guys' younger choice is? Um, heroin. I did heroin. Heroin? Okay. Same here, um, but my, I'm 38, so something okay. in my feet. <laughs> I'm 38, but my drug of choice in the beginning was pills. Pills? I started okay. with pills. Mm -hmm. So all my 20s, it was drugs, drugs, drugs. I'm just getting my shit together. It takes a lot for a person to grow. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning things in my body that I didn't even know the fuck was there. Like, it's, it's amazing. And I just, for the young people out there, drug addicts, it's just not, you that's not that. it. For the young people out there, drugs is not where it's at at all. It will take a toll on your body. It will break you down. It will break your family down. Drugs will have you being a demon, mm -hmm. and you don't even know it's there. Mm. So, you I don't know. Just stay clean. I don't know. Just don't do drugs. Just you guys spiritual at all? Yeah, all day, every day. He with us every day. Okay. Every day. That's what's up. Let me tell you, when I, I know he, we know he's there because we'll do something. Mm -hmm. Pray about it. Knowing it's wrong, and right. still be there. How long have y'all can say consistent? How long have y'all been running around Camden, New Jersey, for like nonstop, like no jail? All right, so she she lives here. She has a couple of Okay. I was out here probably for like a good six, seven years. Straight. Six, seven years. Straight. I haven't seen her in that long. She, All right. I came home. She. I got a friend request on Facebook, and then I started coming out here to see her. 
and then that's when I started doing the heroin and shit, you know? Right. You make mistakes, but at the end, oh, there you go. but at the end of it, I don't regret it because it taught me a lot. Right. It taught me how to move in life and how to be strong about certain situations and stuff like that. Okay. Who to be around, who not to be around, because these people out here in the streets of Camden are savages. They will try to burn your soul if, if, if you let them. If you let them. If you let them. How long you been home for? Um, so, uh, I came home. I was only locked up for um, two months. Okay. But I did time. I did two years in Virginia for Boston. and I used to go to different states and stuff. Okay. So, all throughout my 20s, I've been in and out of jail. But not in Jersey. Virginia. Over in Virginia. But I've been home. I came home with two things. You said you've been doing good this time. You see this thing right here? You don't okay. want one of them. I don't want I one of them. ain't even embarrassed by it because right. it's growth. It's growth. It's, it's life. Yep. Yes, you sir. go through different obstacles in life, you know? Yeah. And if you wanted to, it could only get better. Right. That's right. You know? Y'all got, got each other. Some people don't got nobody, you know? Right. So I feel as though y'all could make each other stronger. You know, just how y'all could run around, rip and run together. Y'all could do something positive That's together. You feel me? You gonna jump in the car and maybe next summer. Right. Got that bread in the bank, bank cards. We grown as hell. We should have freaking bank accounts. Oh, we don't gotta got them right. bank accounts. <laughs> <laughs> it's time to grow up. Yeah. Street scene, where is it? Street scene, where is that? I ain't even no love. Y'all describe Camden? It's the same thing every day. Y'all describe Camden for me? Uh huh. The bottom of the pits. Right. A jungle. It's a jungle out um, here, huh? Real shit. The devil's den. The devil's den. The dev everywhere you see, every everywhere you look is drugs. Yeah. Mm. Everywhere you look, somebody smoking crack. Yeah, everywhere you look, somebody shooting dope. Shooting up right now. Shoot up right In now. the open too. How do y'all intake? Do y'all shoot? Sniff. 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 Like, no needles ever. Is there a reason why y'all don't do the needle thing? I'm scared. I'm scared. Just don't, yeah, I don't like scared. needles. Yep. I don't like needles. Never like needles. Ever, ever. What y'all tell a young girl or guy that's just starting to run around with the streets using drugs? You know. Put this shit Put down, down, turn around, and go the fuck back home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Put it down. Put it down. And people are dying left and right. If it's out something here. that you really struggling about and you think drugs is gonna fix it, it ain't gonna fix nothing. It's just gonna make it worse. Absolutely. That's real shit. It's gonna make it worse. You guys currently working? That's the next step. That's the next step, yeah. How do y'all like support the habit? Well, we don't, we don't got it no more, but you know, but boosting, you know, sneaking on boosting, messing with guys. Yep. Who wants oh, to really yeah. be doing it? Fuck. Like, messing with guys, like yeah. dates? Sleeping yeah. with them, yeah. All oh, right. For money. That's, we out here degrading ourselves and our body as black yeah. women. Any kind of way, you shouldn't do it. That bothers you too. It hurts my heart, you know? Yep. It my heart, but... And that's another thing for the young Please. ladies. These men will take advantage of you. I got raped twice out here at gunpoint by the same person, not knowing that it was him because we just hopping in cars and stuff like that, but it's a lesson learned. I was more... It was a more mental thing for me. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because after the boy did it, I just was like, yo, just take me back to where I got to go. And then that's that. I said on some real shit, you're cute as hell. If you just would have pulled up and asked me for my number, I probably would have given it to you. Mm. You could have gotten it for free. Mm. But you know, everybody is really think that sick way. people out Sick mm -hmm. people in the head. Right. And I talked to him, I asked him why he did it and why he's why is he doing it. And he, have a, he didn't have an answer. I said, all these women out here, you came the second time. All these women out here, why you pick me? Well, they, these bitches is ratchet, ugly, brain down. So, I mean, yeah. basically, that's what he said. Wow. So I ain't trying to toot my own horn or nothing like that. Neither nor my sisters, but these bitches is ratchet. I think we the baddest bitches out here, honestly. Us two on one work. So, but that's not, I said that because just don't do this shit. Stay, yeah. Don't be walking around 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Girls is being raped, raped and killed left and right out here. It ain't nothing but trouble like that. Like All me. day. So just stay in the house, do what you gotta do, get an education, number one, go to college, and, and get that bread, get that chicken. That's what life is, and enjoy life, have fun, travel, see the world, be with family, the most as possible as you can, because I lost a lot of people, and she lost a lot of people, her family is my family, and it's hard. 
Losing people locked up is for everyone. No, that's right. Your hobbies, what was your happiness for the drugs and the streets and stuff like that? I like to dance. You like to dance, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Getting dreams, getting our nails and feet done. Mm -hmm. So basically, what I'm trying to do now is I'm trying to get my shit together. I got kids, mm -hmm. I got two little girls. I want to start like a little dance, right? Good you know? for the kids, we, we, we you got, got two kids. little girls. We got a lot of things. Mm -hmm. We want to do so. Hopefully, we'll do something and y'all see us and y'all can support us. I don't Absolutely. know. We're going to try. We all we about support. One day at a time. Right one day at a time. Yep. One day at a time. That's it. That's all you can do. I really appreciate your voice mm -hmm. speaking out. It's not easy telling your story. It's not easy at all. I can only imagine, you know? Yep. It's not easy at all. But you know, y'all can save somebody's mm -hmm. life. It might be a little girl that's going through some things. Mm -hmm. and she might want to head into the wrong direction. Take a look at these interviews. See how scary it is really out here. Do you really want to do it, you know? Yeah. That's scary. another thing I um I was battling with, like mental health. Mm -hmm. I got the depression mm -hmm. real bad. You know, I never wanted to admit it to nobody, but I got it. Mm -hmm. It took a long time for me to just admit it. Right. Because you know, I feel as us being black, we always so you know, keep it a secret, we supposed to be strong and stuff mm -hmm. like that. You know, sometimes you need somebody to talk to. And open up, because if you don't, get will continue to eat at you, and eat at you, and eat at you. I'm 38, two, I'm two, two years ago, I'm just starting to speak and talk. Right. Things was bothering me with her, and, right. and I didn't like it. And, and, and if you don't communicate with, with somebody that you love and you care about, it, it'll, it'll, it'll never, never work, work. y'all. It, it, it'll make your anxiety bad. And it'll take you, it'll lead you to drugs, right. you know, because you don't want to deal with it. And it's just, it's just, it's just I'm, I'm going through a lot. My anxiety is so bad right now. I know, I know. But she made I like my day. About. When I hugged her, I started crying. It's just, she's made my day. And that's story. And so I feel good now. Okay, ladies. Y'all got any cash app information that y'all could, you know, give to our supporters, subscribers, uh, and stuff like that? If I anyone want to feel generous. My cash app is King. King. K I N J. K I N J. K I N J. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mine is F E Maze. E F F L E E M A Y S. All right. All right. Thank you so much, ladies. All time media will be praying for you guys. Mm -hmm. Hope you all beat this, get through this, and save somebody's life that's well. battling the same things or almost about to battle the same things you guys are battling. And we appreciate y'all. God bless. God bless you. Thank too. you.